Hello and welcome. We are back for today's Monday, April 10th, MLB DFS slate. I'm Tyler. I'm here to break it down for you. But first, make sure you join Lionstar so you can have access to all these tools yourself. You can also use our promo codes uh, with Lionstar or, or sorry, with Underdog or Prize Picks. Lion Promo code Lionstar gets you two free months of Lionstar. Just got to deposit at least $10. Now, let's jump into the slate. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video as well. As always, we are he going to head straight to ownership here. So, ownership for the pitchers. And Zach Gallen is coming in the highest owned pitcher by a, a decent margin here. 40% owned. It really makes sense. One, this is a Coors slate. St. Louis Cardinals bats are, are expensive. Colorado bats are always kind of expensive. Um, and Gallen, for the quality of pitcher that he is, he is just way too cheap on this slate. So 7100 for him is uh, extremely cheap. He has had two rough outings, though, but against two good offenses. However, Milwaukee's no slouch as far as an offense. Um, got beat up against the Dodgers, got beat up against the Padres. Not really sure what we're going to see about him, but last year he was a super good pitcher. If you look uh, here, great FIP number, 2.99 FIP over his last 20 starts. Solid 27% K rate. So Gallon's a good pitcher. I wouldn't fade just because of ownership. Um, however, ownership is something to take into consideration. There are some pivots you can make around that uh, price point here. Now we have Luis Castillo, who's in a great spot against the Cubs, who's a Matt offense. Castillo has great upside, great uh, K stuff. And then we have uh, Bryce Elder. Elder is one of those pivots we were talking about at that high six, low seven K range here. Elder's in a decent spot here against the Cincinnati Reds, 26.6% K rate versus righties. So that Reds lineup is prone to striking out. So I think you kind of have to like Elder a little bit. However, there's a big difference. Elder uh, K rate over his last 20 starts. Well, it's really like last 10 starts because he just hasn't been in the league that long. But his K rate is only 21.3% over that span. Whereas, you know, Gallons is uh, is much higher at, forgot what Gallons was exactly, 27.5. So understand if you are going to go elder over Gallon, there's a big difference. Uh, K discrepancy there, and Gallon is likely to have more Ks. Next, we got Scherzer. He's against the Padres. He hasn't fared super well against the Padres, and he's off to a less than spectacular start. But uh, if you see, he's pretty up and down versus the Padres throughout uh, the last couple seasons, though. But he is probably the best pitcher on the slate him and Castillo so absolutely worth considering and then Luis Urias um, is in a good spot as well uh, as far as a pivot I wanted to bring up Jose Suarez who another cheap uh, 6900 he uh, he's a nice little pivot spot 22% K rate versus Washington lineup that is just kind of anemic um, the one thing though is they only have a 19.4% K rate versus lefties. So there may not be a ton of upside here, but Suarez is a decent pitcher and that Washington offense is just not very good. So I could absolutely see people going there. Um, and yeah, Heaney has some nice upside. Darvish was able to go plenty deep into last game 91 pitches so he's pretty much fully stretched out price points kind of nice the only thing is the Mets just don't K a ton but this offense just hasn't been that good uh Darvish has 27 percent K rate so I like him his ownership his price point all kind of a good spot now let's flip over to FanDuel so we can get an idea of the ownership for you 
on FanDuel. Now, FanDuel, ownership's way different here. We have Scherzer coming in at the highest own, 34%. Now, I'm not huge on chasing uh, Scherzer at that ownership, but I totally get it. He is one of the premier pitchers on the slate. Uh, then you have Castillo, you know, right there at 13%. Personally, I'd much rather go to Castillo. Uh, Zach Gallon, 23%. You know, he's almost 9K, so he's not that huge of a, a price discount on FanDuel as he is on DraftKings, which is why that ownership just, you know, isn't anywhere the same. I On FanDuel, I don't mind fading the higher-owned pitchers on today's slate, but fully understand if you want to go with them. Now, let's get into some hitters. So, first thing I want to go through, because... It's a Colorado slate, so ownership is going to be super high on Colorado. Um, let's look at some of these game, to- game totals. So the Cardinals and the Rockies, 11.5 game total. However, we got this nice little Angels versus Patrick Corbin at only 10, and they're not getting near the ownership that, that St. Louis is. We'll come back to this, but I think it's a really interesting spot. So... To no surprise, highest owned stack is the Cardinals by quite a large margin. Um, look, they're in a great spot. Colorado, it's in Colorado. It is the warmest game on the slate, uh, mid seventies, and there is likely going to be runs. This Cardinals offense is very good. The Rockies pitching staff is meh, and. Uh, with them going against Marquez, who is actually one of their better, the Rockies' better pitchers. Um, you know, I could see it going either way, but I would be surprised if the Cardinals don't put up some runs at least. However, not sure I'm chasing them at that ownership. There's a lot of guys I like. Now, if we go to the highest projected, we have the Angels. Now, this is uh, the spot that I want to talk to you about. Now, they're coming in way lower owned. Cardinals were 120s, 130s as far as projected owned. We have the Angels 70%-ish right around there, give or take, depending on the lineup, uh, the stack you do. So I think you've got to like that. Their ceiling's solid. It's not taking – I mean, it's taking a lot of salary, but there are some salary savers in there also, so that's interesting. Uh, Ballpark factors all look good, and we are going against – Patrick Corbin, 6.23 ERA in the last 20 starts, 1.72 whip, 5.21 FIP, and 2.26 fantasy points per plate attempts. Angels are in a great spot, especially those big hitters. Corbin likes to give up home runs. So with all that, we like it. Now let's flip to the ceiling. And here is the Mariners. Mariners are another one I wanted to talk about. They are coming in super owned. Piers are in a great spot versus Drew Smiley. Only 41% owned here is crazy low. I would expect I would have expected that to be much higher. But they're also a decent stack because only a couple real expensive guys. Everybody else is kind of in the middle range. Real nice ceiling there. Decent projection. Um, the wind is slightly blowing out towards left today. So that really matters. And Wrigley Wrigley does benefit greatly from the wind. Um, Smiley is part of a pitcher 4.5 FIP. Not great. Gives up 1.75 fantasy points per plate attempt. And the Cubs bullpen is bad. So I do like Seattle quite a bit. Obviously Dodgers, you can pretty much always go Dodgers. However, they do have one of the tougher uh, pitching matchups with Logan Webb. And once again, we have angels there showing up on the ceiling side as well. Now let's just click to re- leverage. Just so you have our highest leverage spot is the Milwaukee Brewers, which I do think is kind of an interesting spot. One Zach gallon has got blown up Two, They are super cheap. Look, you have a, uh, Weimer, 2,300. Turag, 2,400. Brian Anderson, who's been on fire, 3,000. Garrett Mitchell, 2,600. Winker, 3,200. You can get this stack for 13.5K, which is extremely cheap, which means the rest of the lineup, you can just 
throw studs in everywhere. You could have Scherzer, you could have Urias, you have Castillo, whatever pitchers you want, and then either another good stack or good three good one-offs. So I think they are interesting, especially being absolutely unowned. So that is a, a very interesting play. I like this slate a lot. I, I don't think you have to go the Cardinals. I do understand if you want to go there. Um, if you want to get different, still play Colorado. I think you can play Colorado tonight. Um, and then I love the Angels, love the Mariners. Milwaukee's an interesting side stack. And pitching, there's a lot of ways to go. So anyways, guys, that'll do it for today. I appreciate uh, you being with me, make sure to like, comment, and scri- subscribe to this video. It helps us a ton to keep putting these out. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.